Kia ora everybody, you join us on a pretty windy evening in the lovely lounge at Big Fan Studios. I'm here with the boys from Double Parks, cheers for being here guys. Yeah, you. Thank you for having us. We've just uh, witnessed their awesome Tones performance, which if you haven't checked it out, you should right now. Go and watch it first and then come back here. Anyway, uh, you guys have been pretty prolific already. You've got an EP out last year, two singles this year. What's next? What have you got coming up? So what we've got coming up really, we're going to be planning on releasing another EP um, by the end of the year and we're just kind of going to lock ourselves away at the bros batch in Ruakaka and go a little bit crazy as we always do when we get together and <laughs> get locked up together like that and you know good things always come out of that you know yeah yeah cool I guess to follow on with that what's your process like for writing and recording new music I mean I assume from the name there's probably a few beers involved <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely that it's it's pretty much been different for like every song that we've that we've made right like yeah. sometimes it starts as a jam and then it just evolves into what it ends up as but sometimes it's like someone's got some lyrics or yeah also or, yeah someone brings some other musical idea to the table and then we just all just yeah folk, all our little bits of magic in it it's a collaborative it's just like effort. a salsa you need for your nachos, you know? Yeah, it Dip it in. Yeah. Everything comes together. Yeah. Multi-flavoured <laughs> milkshake. Do you, ever, do you ever overcook it? Um, oh, fucking we overcook ourselves <laughs> in the process, to be honest. <laughs> but, um, but then, you know, yeah. We always, we always ask, you know, if it's a bit too sweet, we add a bit more salt in, you know? Yeah. But um, you keep going. To yeah, we, we find the balance by the end of it somehow. And you produce and engineer all these tracks yourselves. What's... Ben, ben so, does it all. This is yeah. our secret weapon. Yeah. That's a bit of me. What's what's that like? How do you how do you feel that slots? You know, is that essential yeah. to the sound that you end up getting from it? Kind of being so yeah. close to it the whole way through the process. Yeah, I think because the the two new songs, um, I was I joined the band, uh, so I was there for the writing process of the songs. So kind of had a bit of production idea in mind when we when we were writing, which is um, pretty handy, pretty handy. But the other stuff. Uh, that's kind of how I got into the band, as the boys producer and mixing engineer and then um, the guitarist left and they're like, oh bro, surely come come join. And so yeah, that's how it ended up. It's pretty wicked. Nice. It was great. He was, already, <laughs> he was already kind of part of the band before he was a part of the band. Yeah, it's quite the hanger on. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's, now he's stuck with us for life. Sticking around oh, full time. Man. <laughs> Uh, good. You guys are developing quite a distinctive sound already, I feel like, in the last few singles. You've got the kind of big psychedelic guitars, lots of group backing vocals, kind of shouty things going on. Like, how do you, is that a vibe you're chasing on purpose or does it just sort of happen that way? Nah. Oh, thanks. I feel like, I wouldn't say it's a deliberate choice what we end up writing. It always sort of comes out and then we listen to it and we're like, huh. <laughs> like, it always comes out, it's just like a weird sort of genre genre blend you know it's never we never sit down and be like all right this one's going to be a big psychedelic you know it's going to have this this and this it sort of ends up we get to the end of it and we're like oh so that's uh you know it's a psychedelic song or that's uh you know indie song or whatever you know it sort of just ends post up like post that. surf post surf with yeah. the with the exception of we do really want to write another frothy song because yeah. recently <laughs> we've been writing yeah like some real sort of like psyche kind of stuff but like I think like some of our favorite stuff to play on stage oh, is like yeah. the real like much more like heavy kind of stuff and so I think we're sort of all thinking okay we'll definitely add another one to the arsenal soon you know yeah, <laughs> yeah and I think we have a liquid DMB track in, in <laughs> oh, the <laughs> exciting. yeah it's gonna be wicked man yeah. <laughs> are there any big names you've been influenced by either writing or for playing live like the vibe on stage chili peppers rage against the machine Sublime. No, what are you okay? Yeah, we all we all have such different distinctive music tastes, and I think that's what like benefits us as a, as as a a band. Like all of the sounds that we're listening to on a, on day to day is like so different in the perfect aspect that when we come together, we bring these sounds all in, and that's what kind of like blends in these like weird flows and whatever's going on you know it's like oh and, and we're all so open to what everyone else is listening to that we're like yo that works we're just like oh yeah that works and then yeah by the end of it it just creates something that none of us was expecting from the from the get-go 
and it's like wow that's cool and it's just like oh sweet and just kind of putting all our music genre tastes in the one little jam room and many flavors and then it just creates a new little genre so that's a secret serve. spice to your nachos yeah exactly yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> leopard print coat which was the first single you released this year um there's a few more emotive themes in there i heard ben talking in a previous interview about the lyrics um but you managed to keep it feeling pretty light and it doesn't doesn't feel kind of heavy and bogged down because that one's about my cat yeah oh really <laughs> oh. yeah <laughs> Shout out Aussie, <laughs> um, <laughs> but then it's like it's it's like it's about my cat, but it's more about like the the when something you're a little bit down, and then something um, like your cat can just make you feel awesome, you know. It's like you see him in the corner, just like scratching at the couch, and you're like, I wish I could be a cat scratching at the couch. <laughs> Final question: How do you guys set the tone? We're actually tone deaf. <laughs> Couple beers, good yarns, more beers, and a really, really good boogie because we love a boogie. Some nice boogie. bisexual lighting. <laughs> what? Um, that's, the, that's the tone deaf we are talking about. <laughs> very good. All right. Well, thanks very much, guys, for coming in. And uh, if you haven't already, go out and check out their tones episode. Uh, just linked here, probably somewhere. It's a frothy one. <laughs> Very good. Cheers. Thank you, Finn. Cheers, mate. Ow. Ow.